Hey guys, it's Adrian here. Welcome to Media Weekly, episode 3. I'm really sorry I haven't done this for the last two weeks and last night. Um, so yeah, I got really tired last night. I totally forgot. I'm really sorry. But today we have some really cool stuff for you, uh, plus a schedule update since YouTube, my, my YouTube life has been a mess lately and I've been forgetting to do stuff. So, first we have a review of Movie 43. I told you it was Planes, but I thought you guys would rather see Movie 43. Um, two, we have some cool new video facts, and then we'll get to the schedule update. So, first let's start out with the Movie 43 review. Now, if you don't know what this movie is about, um, it's about this man who's pitching a movie to a production company and his movie is about all of these sketches in one and the guy who's pitching it to does think it's crazy and the pitch ends up to be also a sketch in a movie in a movie so they're all hilarious sketches it's a really comedic movie. For some reason, a lot of people thought it was going to be a horrible movie. And people did think it was a horrible movie. But me, I loved it. And I love all those kind of movies with, like, a ginormous cast and, like, hilarious sketches. Like, I'm a big fan of So Random and Saturday Night Live. So, like, I'm the kind of person who would like that movie. And I did love it. It's actually one of my favorite movies. If you haven't seen it, go check out my top tens a list of the top ten best movies I have seen so far. But so yeah, movie forty three was really funny. Um, now it's gonna be hard to do all the acting reviews, so I guess I'll just do a couple because there are so many people in the movie. So let's do Hugh Jackman. Um, I didn't think he did the best job acting because like he played a guy with testicles on his chin I don't know he was okay I didn't see it in him I mean it's not like you need to act your best in like a movie with so many people it's not like it's it's his biggest role ever so like it doesn't really matter but I just didn't think he was you did too well so I guess you don't need to do any acting for this but like I like the editing I liked how different uh how different people directed different sketches in the movie. Um I like the cinematography, the directing. So yeah, I thought it was hilarious. Um and overall I'll probably give it a seven out of ten stars. So I think you should go see movie forty three. It's on D V D and Blu ray now. Um, but if you don't want to see it, that's fine, because a lot of people thought it was just horrible, but I did not. I think it was really hilarious, and I think you should go see it. And the most recommended movie of the week this week is... Oh, why don't I have a drum roll guy anymore? Most recommended movie of the week is District 9. Go see it now on DVD and Blu-ray. So now it's time, it's the time of the show where we talk about video games. So I have a whole list of facts for video games. And so we'll start out. Um, Madden 25's Anniversary Edition is Amazon's best-selling pre-order sports game ever. Like that's the, that's what might be one of the most, one of, like one of the craziest facts I've ever heard. It's crazy. I mean, I, I'm not a big fan of football or football games. I mean, I like basketball video games, um, and I'm not a big fan of sports. But really, football games get the most, get the the best selling pre order sports game ever on Amazon. I mean, you'd think that would be The Last of Us. I mean, I just went to GameStop the other day. I really want Last of Us. It's still sixty dollars, and it came out two almost three months ago. So it's just crazy. Uh, uh, Ubisoft is not giving up on PS Vita or Wii U. So yeah, not the best fact. This is interesting. GameStop closed fifty-two 
franchises in the past three months. Now, this could be the end of GameStop, which I really hope it's not. I mean, I have a GameStop a few blocks away from me, and, like, that's, like, my source when I want to look at, like, cheap movies or video games, because, like, I'm, bi I'm a big fan of them. Um, but I really do not hope this is the end of GameStop, because, like, there's also another Best Buy right next to me, but, like, they don't have, like, cheap movies, and their games are more expensive, so GameStop is is more of a source for me. Uh, the new game, the new uh, video game convention um, recently, Gamescom, the attendance hit 340,000 people, which is insane. I don't think I've ever heard an attendance like a, a, an attendance for that just at a convention. Like that's just insane. Um. What else do we have? Sony currently has no plans to port Gran Turismo 6 to the PS Vita. What's wrong with putting a game that's on one of your company's systems and putting it on the other system, which is the PS Vita? I mean, that's just stupid. Um, let's see what else we have. Grand Theft Auto 5 goes gold, which we thought was obvious. It's probably, it probably is going to make a lot of money. Uh, so yeah, let's see what we have next. Sony apologizes to Rockstar over GTA 5, the preload leak. If you don't want, know what that means, it's that Sony gave away spoiler alerts in Grand Theft Auto 5. And a lot of people were mad. Yeah, I know, like, it's not the nicest thing. Like, you can be mad, because, like, you don't not want to know what happens in the end of the video game, because you're going to go play it. I mean, it's a spoiler alert. No one likes spoiler alert, alert, alerts. But, you, Sony should have apologized. But you don't have to be so, like, fussy over it. I mean, it's just a spoiler alert. It's not like a video game is your life. Like, I, I know some people who just sit in their in their parents' basements all day playing video games, and that's the only life they have. Like, I don't know. It's just weird. Like, why do you have to be so mad at someone? Like, it's just stupid. Um, I believe that is it for this week. Oh, yeah, I forgot. That was actually the fun fact of the week. Uh, so, yeah, and this week the most recommended game would have to be... Oh, this is hard. I didn't think this one out. Oh, Black Ops 2. You can get it now for the Xbox 360 and your PS3. So, yeah, I re I'm a really big fan of Call of Duty. Uh, so, yeah, you should get that. Um, so, that's it for the video game portion of the week. We do... I didn't... Well, we don't, we don't really have too much time for wrestling this week, so I'll just say a couple of things, like the Superstar of the Week will have to be Randy Orton. I mean, I didn't realize that he would actually cash in on Daniel Bryan at SummerSlam. It was really surprising. Um, I actually didn't think Daniel Bryan would win. I thought Cena was going to win. Um, so, yeah, I think he's the best superstar of the week. He's shown a lot. He's the WWE champion. I mean, he won Money in the Bank last month. Um so, yeah, most recommended superstar of the week. Not, not not most recommended, I mean, the best superstar of the week. Um, now, it's a little, it, I think it's a good match that they set up for Randy Orton versus Daniel Bryan at Night of Champions. I'm really looking forward to see Daniel Bryan take away the gold because I'm not a big fan of Randy Orton anymore. Um, I just thought that he did really well this week. Um, so, yeah, I really want Daniel Bryan to win. As for the rest of Night of, Cha Night of Champions, it's really surprising if they're actually going to give Cena a match because he doesn't really have any hype with anyone or any rivalry. And it was no shock that Brock Lesnar beat CM Punk. I mean, it's obvious. Um, CM Punk can't beat Brock Lesnar for a million dollars. It's just insane. Like, Brock Lesnar can't lose to anyone except for, like, the best people, like Cena, like Cena and Triple H. So, yeah, it wasn't a shock to me. It was to other people, though. 
Um, so yeah, that's it for all of our portions this week and time for our schedule update. Now, as you know, my YouTube life has been crazy lately. I've been forgetting a lot of stuff. A lot of videos have not been uploaded, especially top tens. Now, Movie Talk is going to stay where it is every Friday. This video, Media Weekly, is going to be every Tuesday. Now, as you know, weekly reviews are going to be kind of around almost every day um, lately because I have a lot of movies to review. Um, and what else do we have videos? Oh, okay. Top tens will stay at Thursdays. It's not going to be on Sundays anymore. Um, top ten box office will be every Sunday. Um, and the Batman show is going to stay on Mondays. So he'll be, so we'll have a Batman show today. And I think that's about it. So, yeah, whenever I can do a video game walkthrough, um, I can, but lately it hasn't been working on my computer, so I can't say when the next one will be. I have one already. It's a DuSX Human Revolution walkthrough. I have it all edited ready, but it's, it's not uploading for some reason, so the next time I have a video game walkthrough is hard to say, so I don't know. But I guess that's about it for Media Weekly Episode 3. Um, Go back and watch all my other videos. Maybe we'll do a Q&A sometime. So leave a question in the comments below and I will answer them. Or tweet me a, qu a question at Agent Movie Freak on Twitter. Um, so go. Um, thanks for watching. Leave a comment and subscribe for more.